Hello everyone, welcome to another video and most importantly, Happy New Year. I can't tell you how anxious I am. Today is the day we are casting number one, the very first new main body for the Ranella wheeling machines. A huge amount of work has gone into getting to this point. The last time I saw the pattern was in Mike's workshop and it was, wasn't quite finished, it was nearly there. I haven't actually seen it completely finished um, with all the core boxes and everything. I have not felt this anxious for a very, very long time. This is beyond anything at the repair shop standing at that reveal table. Chris is inside prepping the mold now, so let's go inside and see him. How's it going? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for having us over again. No problem. How's it all going? All good. Yeah. So you're warming up your hands here by the fire. So. <laughs> you, need, you need to do that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely need to do that. Look at that. Yeah. That's a nice view for Is you. Is that it? It's up there, isn't it? Yep. Can we go and have a look? We can have a look. Oh, brilliant. So this is it. Done. This is it. So the, the whole pattern is in two halves. Two halves. Yep. The bottom we've already done because obviously the it needs to be solid, yep. so we just need to do that. We're now going to do the top half. So your bottom pattern obviously is in there already in the bottom half. Yeah. Top half now in there ready, box on top, as you can see. Yeah. We're now going to feed that up with sand, fill all that up. So you're going to bury this now? Yeah, you won't see it. It's going to be completely full, yep. even though it's sticking out the top? Yeah, but that'll be, we'll raise the sand above that. Make a little level. No, that'll go probably over that level. Okay. You'll have two of these exothermic rises. So that's your funnel? Yeah. Yeah. Another one on that corner, just to feed the metal, because you've got thicker sections of metal there. Yeah. So just to feed them. So they're helping just to feed that section. So that'll hold the heat in that, in that so metal. So that goes, that, that, that goes into that. So when yeah. that fills up, that'll be on there. I see. The, me okay. the metal will obviously fill into that. Create the void in the and sand. Hold, and hold that heat in there. We'll get ramming that up. So we're ready to we fill know. up the sand? Yeah. Let's do it. No problem. Yeah. Awesome. tube is basically the metal whip which will allow the metal to go in. So we'll form this round it, on so that will that. go on top, but that will go down into the sand. So then you'll have, that will be the, basically the, the void where your metal will go in. Yep. And then we put a filter block, which will sit in the bottom, which will filter out any that's impurities that's in the, the metal. Any, anything that's... Yeah, any, yeah, yeah. So any, any rubbish, that will just take that out. And all the in. metal will go through that. Through that, into yeah. that big runner bar, and we'll yep. cut the in gates in and then you'll cut the ingates in, yep. so then it will all feed in from one point. Correct. As you can see now, so you, the tube. That's that bit going in. Yeah, yeah. so that'll go in. And once it's set, you pull that out. Yeah. yeah. Bet you guys don't go on beach holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing you want to do, go on holiday and be sitting on more sand. It's very fine still, because we re reclaim it, don't we, in, our, in, our, in the reclaim unit. So that'll, that'll vibrate like, it yeah. and bring it down. But like so a, basically, that's the sand mixer there. So it comes along, feeds down from the two tubes. So we've got blends. Oh, it's pushed as it comes in. Comes down and spins around in the tube, comes in out the with the resin, yeah. Right, fine. So we've got yeah. about three, four different mixes. So depending on what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, it's actually terrifying the amount of work and time and money and investments that's gone into making that wooden pattern and now it's been buried <laughs> it's a, a weird feeling knowing it's underneath all that weight underneath all of that sand there's a lot of pressure going in this mold yep you'll see when we do cast it all the gas is sort of just flying out so we just always give it a little bit of an extra vent just to help even though the, the sand is special it allows the force to come it's, out it's, but it's yeah. just just the extra help an extra bit just to yep. allow that yeah now it's packed full of sand yeah can we open it up and have a get the pan out? <laughs> couple of hours now. That needs a couple of hours. To set, to set off. 
weather-wise and obviously the time to ram it up, you need to allow a little bit longer. So yeah, sorry. So, two, two, hours. two hours to wait. <laughs> Honestly, I, can't, I don't think I could do your job. <laughs> I, I'm too, I want to have a look now. I just want to peer, I just want to peer in there. I, I, you can feel though, you feel now, it's starting to go. Yeah. So the, the, the resin mixed in with the sand has got to basically go off. Yeah. So we've got to wait, fine. Just a bit of that side, I think, weight on that end. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks brilliant. See your lifting holes now. So that's so the locating. That's one. a locator. You can see a threaded one is the lifters. So, so you'll screw an eye in there. Yeah, we've got an eye in there which will go through. Yeah. It's not what I was expecting. I know the shape of it, but that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be that way. Obviously, it's going to be, yeah, beautiful. And then you see your section over there now, so where your core will lay in that section. And that will hold it. Yeah, so you'll have a half in there, a half in the other bit. So that's your runner bar. And then obviously we'll cut the in-gates. So you'll cut in there, you'll cut that's the it. bar through. Yeah, so once the metal's staying in there, any rubbish will just float into that runner bar in the top. Oh, so right. it stays in there. Right. And then this side, you can see, you'll see the wording. Which the is, lettering, yeah, of which course. Is, which is even better. This is on this side, we haven't seen that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be up here. And number one, down there. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm shaking. Perfection. <laughs> Look at that. Number one. All of those piles that we saw outside of all the bits of iron, this is it. We've got a selection of them. We've picked the best bits, all of the nicest looking pieces, and they're all now in here and then melting down. 
This will be part of the Ranala number one. So this looks like grey primer. Yes, it's just like a coating which will give you a better finish on your casting so that will seal the sand, ah. stop the metal penetrating because of the heat of it. Um, let it soak in and we'll light it and that'll just give it a nice seal. If you didn't put this on? Casting will still be fine, no problem, but not as good finish. The surface finish will be more textured? Yeah, not, not grey, yeah. Just, just yeah. Not, not good, yeah. okay. So when these ranolas were made in the 30s, they wouldn't have painted anything, do no. you think? Or would they be able to have No, equivalent? I don't think so. They would probably be made using like an oil-based sand or green sand. They may well have used some sort of a coat, and I don't, I don't yeah, know, being yeah. honest. By using the green sand, That's that it. inevitably had its own problems. Yeah. So they had their own ways yeah. of getting over things. cores in now for your recesses obviously in your original so these are made of sand yep and they'll be gone at the end that's it so the metal will obviously go all around that to give you that recess right so that's basically yep. the hole the negative space yeah sealing glue around the outside to stop any molten metal just to give it a bit of extra because there'll be a huge amount of pressure i imagine that's it yeah we got you've got to help us put all the weights on yeah we've got to put the weights on yeah <laughs> <laughs> This is absolutely terrifying, the amount of work all these guys have put into this a pile of sand held in a metal frame. And now they're teetering it and tipping it over and balancing it and flipping it over. And now is the point where both halves of the pattern are now coming back together and they've got a land exactly perfectly lined up one on top of the other. So that's the last time we're going to see the inside of that mould. It's sealed, up, fingers crossed, it all went okay and there's nothing went wrong in there. It looks really promising though. So this is it. Now we need to pile on a ton of these weights and probably literally a ton. Um, they're everywhere in here. So we're just going to get my hands stuck in, grab some weights, help the guys pile these on top. And this is going to put a lot of pressure pushing down, holding it all down. Back must be. Oh, right, God! It's kind of it's the reach, the ones on, in the middle. Yeah, the... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I lifted about six, and that was it. My back's done. <laughs> so each one of those is 25 kilos. We'll have to count and work out how much weight is actually on top of there. This is a, a hard job. I think I would last five minutes working here.
that. How long do we have to leave that for now? In the morning, we can have a look, but it still will be warm. Hot, yeah. Quite, quite hot, to be honest with you. But we can get that out. It will um, be stable enough to lift yeah, it Yeah, yeah, that's it. We can have a look and see that. Number one Ranelagh cast. It's a big day. Yeah. So thank you very All much. good. And I guess we'll see you in the morning. Yes. Look Brilliant. forward to it. Thank you. <laughs>
still loads hot, of heat, isn't loads, it? loads of heat in there, which there is. That still would be very hot. So, yeah. um, well, let's get is, this up. This is it. Let's see do how, it. See how we go. <laughs> Do you feel the heat on it, John? That is incredible. It's had all night, overnight, yep. in this freezing weather, yep. and it's still... So this looks, is, I guess this is, the, I suppose, partly burned, but that's where it's shrunk, that little gap. Yeah, so that's you can see, whole, yeah. Yeah, sound, yeah, yeah, which contraction. As it's, as it's yeah. cooled. Oh, does it, have you got crack, like a relief? Crack, look, what that do? That's inside there. So that's the sh that's the metal. Right. Oh, so that is part of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that has to be cut off though. But that's so that that's the that was, thermal that was feeder little... we were on about. Yeah. Yep. So that holds the heat. And that's the same as what's down that's there. That's it down there as well. Yeah. And that's the runner on the way in. Yep. Runners there. It's perfect. There's your core. So obviously that made your recess through there. There's a runner there, isn't it? You can see it. This so it. it's great. I just can't believe how the metals flow from there through the through the yeah through the through runners the strainer, yeah, yeah, through yeah. the runners in those four little tiny tubes and fed that hole all the way around to here. Yeah. Filled up there, filled up that, and yeah. it's made it all the way to every little bit. So there's your the vent we had off the top where the metal came out and you saw it dribbling out the top. So this is what was when it was yes, squirting yeah, down the side. It. Yeah. It's that. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing absolutely amazing all this work it's been a, over a year of yeah. research development planning talking to people like you guys we've done it it's brilliant That's it. Number one. Yeah, it is clear as anything. Perfect. That looks good, doesn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Honestly, Superb. Chris, honestly. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm over the moon. It's, I mean, look at that bit down there. Well, the whole shape is there, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. So then you've got your joint, joint lines on the sides. Which is nice again. Yep. Yeah, it's not too much. Good. Right, well, I'm gonna leave them grinding away in there. They're, that's apparently called fettling. They're cutting off all the runners and all the extra bits that we don't want. The only thing that's really left to do is get it on the forklift, wheel it around the front and stand it next to the original because I still don't know at the moment if it's actually the right size. It looks 
so it looks bang on, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is have it so that as you are, that's it, so it's that way. right there. What do you think? No, that looks excellent. You knew it was going to be right though, didn't you, before well, you... <laughs> you always have your fingers crossed. Yeah. But... And all the, all the little bits that I was concerned about, the throat depth, the height, and then this little lip at the bottom, because bearing in mind they're going to be bolted back to back. Yeah. It's, it couldn't be better. Literally bang on. Just need to get some dings in it. And you need to drag it around the workshop yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, exactly. The text is perfect just the right spot it, it just it looks right you know yeah it looks like the original yeah that's great thank you for everything really really brilliant right this is something um from us and oh, mikey pattern maker so i need you to open it now <laughs> you shouldn't have done this so it's something we think you'll appreciate and it's on telly. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, telly? Oh my god. Surprise for a change for oh us. Oh my <laughs> goodness. All right. Oh, Chris, honestly, <laughs> thank you for everything. I knew you'd appreciate that. Oh, that's so sweet. That's such a nice thing it's to do. It's all right. Do. Thank you. Very, oh. Oh, I feel quite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh. From all the team, everyone, so it's great. That's amazing. Good. Thank you. Super. Look at that. <laughs> Number one. <laughs>